Hey guys, Proper English here. I'm floating up above my box renderer, and I'm going to give you one more quick demonstration before I talk to you a little bit about how the cells actually function, what makes this thing work, because it's an interesting process, and I think you might might enjoy it. So there, I mean, it was a little difficult to see at night, but now you got to see it during the day. Um, so this is the cell that makes this whole thing function. Now, don't get too freaked out about it. It looks fairly complex, but the logic behind it is pretty simple. It's just that I've compacted it uh, quite a bit, so it's, it's all in a very tight space, and it looks like something that might be difficult to understand. It really only has two functions, uh, a probing function and a corner detection function. So let's start off by looking at the probing function. That's this input here. So that's what happens when, this is what happens when I turn on one of the cells. You see it sends out a signal in all four directions. But there's something that is kind of important. Um, notice that the signal is only coming out one side. That's because I've got these repeaters protecting it uh, on the other side. And that's important because that's what separates the probing function from the corner detection function. If I didn't have that, um, things would just get all confused and it wouldn't work. So they need to be isolated. And you can see the, uh, the same thing goes on down here. Actually, this is too low. I need to um, figure out a good way to get into this thing. Sometimes it's a little tricky to, to navigate around and find a, uh, a little nook that I can crawl into. But there we go. Uh, so you can see that's the same sort of deal here. We've got these repeaters that are isolating the, uh, the probe function and the corner detection function. And yeah, so that's one of the two functions that this cell can perform, the, uh, the probing function. So let's take a look at the corner detection function. And we'll come down, we'll turn the, uh, the, turn, turn the cell off. And you can see that it's no longer sending out any probes. So let's come over and turn this input over here on. And this input would be representative of another, a signal coming from another cell. All right, And you see it runs right through. Now, if you look at that torch right there, that torch is off because the input is on. And that is one of two inputs to an AND gate. And the AND gate is what allows for corner detection. So let's clear this screen off and I'll show you which part of the image corresponds with the state of that cell down there, the one where uh, the signal's running right through the cell without, without stopping. And that's what you're seeing right here when we come down this line. The signal is going through each cell and without any, any issues. So let's uh, come back up here and we'll set another point and render the box. And, uh, and we can watch what happens, and then we'll go take a look at what's happening in the cell. And there you go. I, I love the way that looks. It's, it's just, it's awesome. So, let's uh, come back down to the cell, and we'll pick this, uh, this input over here and turn it on. And so now, this would be an intersecting line, and you'll see a change immediately. Now that the first signal that I showed you doesn't run through the cell. Instead, it creates a corner with the other one. And the way that's happening is the AND gate turns on this piston and it blocks the, uh, the signal from passing through. And that's what makes the corner. And um, let me show you, actually, uh, oh, I gotta navigate my way around here again. Uh, let's move up a little. There, there it is. Uh, you can see that this is happening on the other line as well. So that uh, the second signal that I added doesn't pass through. Instead, it creates a corner. Now, there's one other thing that's going on here. Um, you see the uh, probe function has been turned on. And what that's doing is it's sending out um, a signal to look for an intersection. And this time, it'll find an intersection at the original points. So you see, if we turn this off, the probe turns off. If we turn it back on, the probe turns on. And what's going on there is the AND gate that's being used for corner detection is sending a signal down 
um, to the probe input to the and is powering the cell. This is the same input that we turned on with this lever over here before. You can see the line is going right into the same spot. So the probe is being turned on. So when a corner is detected, the cell turns on and it sends out a probe. Though those probes uh, from from each of the two corners that have been detected during this process, um, they intersect at the original points and they turn them into corners. Now, it's important that the cell can detect um, all four possible corners, otherwise it's not going to be able to draw a box. So you can see, if I turn uh, that one, it generates a different corner. And, um, and let's go across to the other side and um, and I'll show you the third possible corner. And um, and this was sort of tricky to set up in terms of uh, in terms of the AND gates because there are some that sort of have to stretch across the whole cell, and it becomes very very convoluted and congested. And let's come over and we'll turn this last one on over here, and the corner looks perfect. Now let's um, let's go back up to the, uh, the big array that I've got here. And if I turn the reset on, what it's going to do is it's actually going to block the, uh, the probe function from the corners that were um, detected based off of the original point probes. And what you're seeing now is the, uh, the original probes are still on because the new corners aren't, aren't sending out signals to turn, turn them off. And so if I turn the reset off, you can see it generates corners at the original points. And that's how this works. I think it's pretty awesome. So let's just talk our way through the process once more. We, uh, well actually let's, let's do a demonstration. So let me turn these off and do a quick reset. And again, the, uh, the reset, reset looks great too. So, uh, we'll select new points. Uh, we choose this one here. And right now, it's sending out a probe to find any intersections. If we turn this on, it does the same thing, and it does find intersections. And then, once those, in those intersections are found, it generates a corner and sends out a probe. And those probes um, go back and intersect at the original points and, um, and turn them into corners. And that whole process is carried out by this cell over here, which is I don't know, it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration, and I hope you're looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching.